Welcome to another Twin Peaks Wild Camping Adventure. Today we're back in Snowdonia and it's the first for us. We're in the, the Rinogs mountain range and we're going to do a wild camp. We haven't got a definite location yet, which is just going to take a walk up this path. Follow some of the signs, signposts, and see where we end up. Tonight we're using Mark's Scarp Tab Tent, Scarp One Tent, One Man Tent, but we're going to try it out for two people. We've heard you can use it for two people, so we're going to give it a go, and we'll let you know how we get on with two people in a one man tent. So stay tuned. Only been in uh, the Rinogs about 20 minutes, and what a fantastic place this is! A nice holiday let there, Airbnb with views like this, unbelievable! What a fantastic place this is! Just come to this junction, and uh, that mountain there is Rinog Vach, and that mountain there is Rinog Vaur. Just give you a little uh, progress report. We come from over that direction, over the top, and you come to this cairn. And that's telling us to turn left. And according to the OS map, we just follow this path down over that stone wall up here. And then we're going to follow the path which is there all the way up to the top of the summit of Rinog Bach. It looks worse than what it is actually but we got plenty of times so we just, just take our time getting up there. No rush whatsoever. So we're gonna have a five minute break and carry on. I live for days like this. Amazing. Renog Vower up there. Renog back up that way. Check these views out. If you look over there, that mountain is Moyle Shabbard. The 
awesome views. at the top of Grinlog Park now and have a look at this you've got the clean peninsula in the distance fantastic views if I turn around that's the summit so we're gonna make our way over there now and it's another windy one Just walked off the summit of Brynlog Vach and check this place out. That there is Hlyn Huel. That's Hlyn Perfeddoi. And that one down there is Hlyn a Bee. And now we've got a bit of a dilemma where to pitch up tonight. Down there looks pretty decent. The either side of the overflow. Or we're thinking maybe down the side of Clinner B because then in the morning it'd be easier to get back to the car. Just stop for a break because it's a lot of rock and the path isn't that well defined. But I just thought I'd pack my ass by here and show you that view and it's slightly out of the wind here as well and it's fairly warm, it's beautiful and I'm looking round you can probably see a bit of flat grass by there I think we're going to walk down follow some sort of path to the bottom and then make our way over there and possibly pitch up there tonight yeah fantastic not far away now and that's where we were up there on the summit oh what a place remote isn't it yeah very remote it's like you only see the Rinogs from the size of the A470. But when you come over here, it's different. Don't look as big, does it? No, it's a different world. Absolutely stunning.
Yeah, it's a cracking location. This is it's probably one of the best places I've ever been. This is really remote. And the the Rinogs are known to be a very remote location. So yeah, I hope we don't see anyone here tonight and they assess us. So uh, fingers crossed. So the scarp one is all fully erected, complete with the crossover poles, which is an optional extra if you decide to buy this tent. Also they send you out this bungee cord, there was a bit of an issue with um, the poles rubbing the top of the, uh, the ridge, causing a hole into the sleeve. So that they send you that out, trying to eradicate that. We've also got the tracking poles one each end to pull a tent, the upper tent or the fly off the inner tent and give it a bit more stability. But it is a scarp one and tonight we're gonna, we're gonna use it as a, as a, a two-man tent. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put in two sleeping pads and try it out as a two-man. So the two sleeping pads are inside the tent. Granted, there's no room in between the two, so it's going to be a bit, bit cosy in here, to be honest, but uh, it looks like it'll, it'll work. Two people. We've got two entrances, one on that side, one on this side. Um, you've got enough room to put a pack that side, and just about enough room to put a pack this side, but you, you could even pull this in a bit so yeah looking at it at first glance as a two-man tent like I said it's gonna be a bit cozy but I think it'll work but uh, we'll see in the morning if the performance a two-man tent right then eight o'clock well earned I should say Tell you what, me and Simon were up on this rock just overlooking the sea and the clean peninsula. I haven't eaten yet. We just want to sit up here all night. It's absolutely amazing. Just can't get enough of that view. It's done, isn't it? Yep, sun's coming down. I just sat up here with a couple of IPAs. Tell you what, Sunday nights don't get better than this. Amazing. Well, what a cracking day. Perfect camp spot. Um, 
we've just been up on this little hill over there for about an hour and a half, just watching the sun, sun set into the west over the clean peninsula. Um, we're going to have some food now, only the adventure foods, pasta meals, so we're going to eat this. Um, yeah, we've seen this place so many times coming up the A470 towards the Ogren Valley, place like that. We've always looked over to the left, you can see the Rinogs off, you know, by Transvenev, and uh, we thought we'd just uh, come over and, you know, do a bar camp. It's an amazing place, absolutely amazing. So, yeah, we got a time lapse going for the sunset, and uh, if it turns out well, You'll be seeing it right above now. Good morning from the Rinox. God, oh, looking at me. You know, if you find I look rough. God, oh. God, I'm tired. It was hard. It was a hard hike that was yesterday. Very enjoyable, but pretty tough. Anyway, um, showed yesterday uh, the me and Mark were going to share this scarf one tent. Just a little bit of an update for you. Yeah, so overall it was a positive experience with this tent with two people. We had plenty of room with the two sleeping pads side by side. We're average build guys and um, it worked for us. Uh, the only downside, we had to bring the, the backpacks inside the tent and stack them up uh, at the end of the sleeping pads. Because we found we couldn't fit two um, packs outside in the vestibules. Um, as I'm looking at it now, the left hand side, you can fit one in the side. If you're, if you're on your own, you can pull the, the bottom of the tent over. If, if just for one person, but two of us. We've had to bring them in. So if you're a similar sort of build and height to us, it is doable. But if you were taller, enough, say five foot nine, five ten, um, you probably wouldn't get away with it for two people. It's good here, isn't it? <laughs> it's an awesome place. Awesome place. It's going to be sad to leave here today. I really enjoyed this one. Really enjoyed this one. I'm not sure if I've shown you this yet. It's my new camera and it's a GoPro 10. There it is on the tripod doing this thing. I was hoping for a sunrise this morning but a lot of cloud coming over the mountain so it doesn't look like it's gonna happen today but you win some you lose some simple as that just having a nice cup of coffee nice nest cafe two in one nice and easy the Cumrig coffee the Cumrig coffee the Cumrig coffee is back as the craggle says <laughs> so yeah, cup of coffee, pack down and try, try and find our way out of this place. Because <laughs> we're going back a different way than we came. Yeah, I know one thing. I won't be walking over that again. Well, not today anyway. Because <laughs> no that was a beast. It's tougher than it looks. Relogs. Only 706 metres, but the first ascent on the other side was vertical. <laughs> Which we didn't plan to do, as you saw. So, but I'm glad, we, I'm glad we did it. It's another 
Some is off the list. Another nut all off the list. No pain, no gain, as they say. Right, let's pack down. Just taking the tent down now, guys, and uh, what's happened, you can see the centre pole, where you've got the um, shock cord at the end, where you've got the, the plastic piece to go into the, um, into the cups at the bottom of the tent. They, they've pulled out, they've done it both, it's done it both ends, right? And we think the reason for this is because the sleeve the sleeve of the tent is really thin and narrow and what's happened is because the, tent, the tent's gone a bit a bit damp overnight and it's just it's jammed up inside the uh, sleeve and that's why it's pulled those off. It's, it's done it before but we thought it was a one-off but uh, it's been a bit of a, a pain in the ass to be honest so uh, keep an eye out for that. As always leave no trace.